Hello all, welcome to Tech Tapture. Myself Vishal Bulbule, and in this video, we are going to see how we can create Windows VM in Google Cloud. So, also we are going to see how we can create, how we can log in, and how we can add additional disk to the Windows VM in GCP. So, I'll go to my Cloud Console first. So, what we'll do? We'll create one a uh, VPC network without any kind of new firewall we'll just create with a basic firewall setting and then once a vpc network is created we'll use that vpc network for our a windows vm so let me go to the vpc page here from here i'll just create one a simple vpc network and a subnet so i'll create one a vpc network and I'll give the name as a Windows demo. One demo. So we have to keep subnet creation mode as a custom so we can create our own subnet. And I'll create subnet in US Central one or I just give the name as a Windows subnet. Okay, and I'll just select a region. So you can choose any region. I'll choose US Central one because this is a cheaper location for any kind of pricing in GCP and here you have to select a CID range for private IP so you can just use this example and select a range so I'll just use IP range like 192.168.10.0 so that is not allowed so let me use 10.10.0 18.0 slash 28 okay so you can use any allowed private CIDR range and I'll click on done so I won't change anything in firewall with a default setting I'll just create my VPC and submit and once this uh, VPC is created I'll go to my VM creation page and I'll create a VM. If you want to know more about uh, VPC, subnet and firewall, I have created few more videos and VPC, subnet and firewall. You can go and watch that video for a better understanding. So in this video, we'll mostly focus on creating a Windows VM and how we can log in into the Windows VM. So let me refresh this page. Okay, so this is ready now so let me go to vm instance page and simply i'll click on create instance i'll give the name as of windows vm so region i will choose us central one because i created subnet in us central one you can choose any zone you want i'll keep a as it is and rest of the things i'll keep a default machine type and everything while choosing a boot disk i will choose for a windows now if you are using a free trial account you might get an uh, prompt that you have to enable billing because windows server is not available for a free trial account but you can simply enable it it won't charge you until you exceed your free trial credit so whenever you get $300 free credits you can still use your uh, windows image here just you have to enable your billing so you will be charged only when you exceed your free trial credit that is of $300 so I enabled billing already but if you have not enabled it will prompt you to enable for billing before using the windows image okay so I selected uh, this windows server and here always remember if you are just uh, trying out for this demo choose a image with a desktop experience and not a core one so don't choose this core it won't show you a desktop UI there so choose a desktop experience I will choose the latest with a desktop experience and I will select so rest all things I will keep as it is only I will go and choose a network which we created just now okay so I won't go with the default network I will choose the network which we selected Windows demo and now I'll create without changing anything 
I'll create a Windows VM. So it will take a couple of moment to create a VM. So creation of Linux VM is faster than Windows. At the Windows, it performs a lot of operation at the background. So it will take like about a minute to get it created. So let's refresh. Okay, it is now created and here you could see there are two IP internal IP and external IP so to log in from your laptop or your local system from RDP you can use this external IP now suppose I will go and open RDP now remote desktop RDP is nothing but a remote desktop so it's available in your Windows system so here I will just type a IP address external IP address now once I try on connect, it will ask for a username and password. So where we'll get a username and password to connect to your Windows machine. So either you can click on this three dot and uh, okay, not here. Just go to machine. And click on set Windows password. It will take username keep as it is default one and click on set it will show you the password so you have to copy that password that will use to login into the windows vm okay i'll copy this password remote desktop okay and now i'll check if this is a correct ip so external IP is 133. Okay, so let me enter that 35 dot dot 192 dot 45 dot 133 and once i click on connect it will ask me for username and password or it will give error if there is no port open so windows system will use 3389 port for login or rdp into the windows vm and linux will use a 22 port for ssh now it should throw an error because there is no port open in our vpc so we created it with a default firewall rules and by default all incoming traffic is denied so we'll do one thing we'll create one firewall rule to allow port 3389 which is for windows rdb so i'll go and i'll create firewall rule i'll just give firewall name allow login so direction of traffic will be ingress i'll keep allow target will be all instance in network and the range so i want to specify complete range from internet so i should be able to log in from any system if i want to allow login only from my local system i can put ip address of my external ip address of my local system but i'll keep all machine so this range is like star star means allowed for all so this 0.0.0 0.0 is a complete internet range and here TCP port will be 3389. So this will solve our error. Let me close few tabs from here. So we'll see this RDP. Okay, now firewall is created successfully. Let me connect again now it will ask for login name and password earlier it yeah so here it is taking default my laptop login name and password i will use mine which i used for creating password password i already copied let me see yeah okay now i will click on ok it will give one certificate warning i have to accept that Now it logged in into the Windows system which we created.
okay so one more thing i just want to show you so when we created this a uh, windows vm i'll go to the disk section and boot disk you could see having size of 50 gb so whenever we say boot disk it will be a c drive for your windows vm so if i go here and let me refresh let me go to file manager of my windows vm Okay. And we'll see there will be one default uh, boot disk 50 GB so you could see this 49.8 that is 50 GB of C drive available now I want additional space on my windows system and I want to add additional disks so how I can add that so I will go back and click on this edit windows VM to add the additional disk we don't need to uh, stop our virtual machine we can add it on a fly so I'll just go to this section yeah and here additional disk so i will add new disk name you can give anything disk one or something blank disk so i just want to add more 50 gb okay and i'll just save it and here also i'll save it once it is saved we'll go and see in windows so it won't be available right now in drive because we have to mount that or we have to make partition on the disk Okay, so let me go to the windows vm so currently it is not showing here but if i go to disk partition tab here you would see a two disk now disk 0 and 1 it would be okay disk 1 is now available i'll just click on ok it will ask us to mount okay i'll just do new simple value next you can assign any drive letters so here is d i'll just put e next next finish so now this will be available for our use and you could see this 50 gb available and we can use this for storing our data on a window system so in this way we can add additional disks also whenever we want to the windows system so that's it for this video so this is the way we can create a windows system or a windows vm and we can log in using this set windows password tab and we have to be make sure that port 3389 is open to allow login in your windows virtual machine so thank you for watching this video